Hello, my name is Anne, and this is Toby. And welcome to episode 97 of a Toby Knits podcast. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This is where I talk about my favorite crafty things. Mondays is knitting and sometimes crochet. Wednesdays is a floss tube, so it's all about cross stitch. And Fridays is a bit of quilty fun, which is about quilting. So I hope you will enjoy all of them and come back every week for more. Please like and subscribe if you do. Um, and I think there's a little bell icon in the corner that if you want to be notified when I have a new um, video upload, then tap that baby too. But anyway, I hope you stick around and enjoy. Grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and let's get going. So today's all about the knitting. And let's get straight in there with a big apology to Ellie of Craft House Magic because I utterly and completely messed up the triangulum blanket. This is a fabulous blanket that she brought out at Christmas time or in December actually it was for her um, advent, her um, advent mini set. And you got like the 24 minis and you opened one each day and you made this blanket with it. I loved the blanket. I didn't buy the minis, but I loved the blanket. I thought it was different. It's kind of like a mitered square, but it's a triangle. So I thought I'm going to do it. So I got it, the pattern, and I then signed up for her mixtape minis. And each month she sends you five 20 gram skeins of yarn that she hand dyes all in different colors. And she gives them names of, um, 80s music songs which I thought's brilliant you know 80s were my era <laughs> and uh anyway I started making this blanket and I'm gonna put a picture up here of last week's blanket fiasco and you can see that it was very puffy and pointy they look like bras all sewn together. I thought, you know, I mm, I don't think I'm liking it. I wasn't enjoying it. So I, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. I asked for help. I didn't know what to do. Should I keep going? Should I just do the mitered square blanket? Couldn't decide. Anyway, Ellie contacted me and said, very politely, I think you're doing it wrong. So I thought, okay. So I looked again at the pattern. I was, I was in the mindset of a mitered square where one row is the decrease and the second row is not. So what I had been doing was throwing extra rows where I shouldn't have been. So I ripped the whole thing out the whole, well, I only did four, let's be honest, four triangles. So I ripped the whole thing out and started again. Oh, look, they're laying flat. They're not pointy and sticking out. Look at that, they lay flat. What a ditz, I can't believe I did that. Like, so these are amazing and this was exactly the look I was going for. So the plant, so this were her January colors for her mixed tape minis. And I just love this. So I started with the gray and then I added this teal and then this one. Then I added this one. And then I thought, then I added this one to the gray so that I was left, because there's only five in uh, her, mini, her mini kit. But I thought, okay, what am I gonna do then? So I thought I'm gonna add another teal. So it kind of breaks the grays up and it kind of breaks the dark blues up. I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? 
So I think my plan, I saw another lady who made me think about what I'd done as well. Um, and uh, she, I can't remember her name. And if I do remember it, I will put it down here. But her blanket's beautiful. And she's just literally adding the five, six colors all around. But I'm not sure if I want to. I love white. You'll know how much I love white. So I thought I might put a triangle between each set of colors. So I think I'm going to add a white here and a white there and then start the next block of six colors in the Jan in the February colors, which. OK, I'll show you that in a bit. But isn't that lovely? I just really love it. Yes, these are a bit curled, but as you add more to it, they will uncurl and become lovely. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. So Ellie, I do apologize for messing up your pattern, <laughs> but I got it now and I'm loving it. So that's perfect. Um, so I've also been using the skein of yarn from the club to put in my mitered square blanket, which as you know, started here and I'm putting a white in between every block and I have got 10 blocks, five of the colors and five of the whites. And then I added Ellie's. So there's that lovely gray. Look how mottled and lovely that is. Like it's not a true, plain, boring gray. And then there's this one which is very pretty with the little teal bits. Then there's the teal. I have to try to see whether you can see this because I can, I have it in front of the camera. And then there's this gray and turquoise, I think. And then there's this lovely blue. But doesn't that look super cool? I love it. It's coming along so well. So now I will start with the next color, which will go here. No. Yes. No. <laughs> I have to see which way's the start. Okay, this is the start. Yes. So the next color will go here and it will be the color for the February. And uh, but I'm loving this because this has all the five colors for the month that I get from Ellie and um, yeah, so really fun knit. And they're pretty easy to do. You can usually get one done in an evening. So I usually try to work on a triangle and a square in an evening. And this, believe it or not, is what I have left of all the little 20 gram minis. I still have all this left. I literally could probably do another mitered square blanket Um, or um, I might use the, I might actually use this and make a pair of socks. If I add the white, I could either stripe them all and have heels, toes and cuffs in white, or I could use them as heels, cuff, toe with a, there's so much to pick. Anyway, that's what I've got left. So that is amazing. Um, the other thing I've been working on is shawlography, which is the Stephen West knit along. Now, <clears throat> the problem with this is I'm bored now. I'm very bored with this because we're just doing the bind off edging, which you would think would go quickly and I would love. And I, I am, and it is. But it isn't. I'm a bit impatient. So this is the where the edge had started and like I mean there were like 400 and something stitches on here so it's not like it's a five minute knit you know it's not a quick stitch border. So I am now here I did this much on Saturday night while I watched a movie. So it's I was getting five stripes when I was knitting it in an evening before, but I seem to be slowing down. And 
I don't know if it's just I'm just getting fed up of it. I'm not sure. But I have that much to go, which doesn't seem like it's a lot. But when you think each one of these, you know, that's an evening's worth normally, but I've only been getting four. So let's just say four. So there's two, e two evenings, three evenings, four evenings, five. There's about six and a half evenings to do, which again, is, you know, it's just seven days in a week, but I don't do this every single night. I only work on it on Friday night, uh, Saturday night. So uh, I think I might work on it today. Uh, it's Sunday today, by the way, it's not actually Monday. It's uh, Sunday the 27th and the my football team Liverpool are playing in a cup final today. So actually in about an hour. So I might sit and do that because it's it is easy knitting to to do while you're watching a tv show or a movie so maybe i'll just make myself work on it during the football game so that um it moves it a bit further and i because i'm sure once i'm only down to like eight eight or nine of the little stripes i'm sure that will probably eager me to get going quickly you know what i mean but right now it's boring the pants off me Sorry, Stephen, but it is. Because um, there's so many other fab things I want to do instead. Uh, anyway, so that's where that's at. So let's hope maybe, you know, I can put a bit of an effort into that one. And leave the damn minded squares alone for a bit. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what I got in the mail this week. And I have had a lot of mail this week on all different crafts, by the way. So, but today's knitting mail that I got was from Ellie of Craft House Magic, and it was the February mixtape minis. Are they not gorgeous? Look at this one. I think this one is probably my favorite. Isn't that, I love this color. Um, now, she does name them. You get a little card with all her minis in. Um, so let me see if I can figure them out. So, Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell, 1984, is the dark and mid blue. Dark and mid blue. Would you think that would be a blue? Kind of looks gray, but I think that's probably it. So this, I think, is Somebody's Watching Me. Then we've got Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses, and that's Shades of Green. So, Shades of Green. Maybe yeah, that one. It's quite the thing. I can't figure it out. Ellie, you need to name them, honey, on the, on the thing. You need to put taggies for me, because I can't figure it out. Um... Boogie Wonderland, oh my god, Boogie Wonderland, Earth, Wind & Fire was one of my favorite songs ever. I actually went and saw them live when I lived in England. Um, pale Green and Purple. Pale Oh, that must be this one. My favorite one. Um, then we've got Bright Green with Purple Splashes. Okay, that one must be that one then, the bright green with purple splashes, which is, I got you. I feel good. Do, 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 do. James Brown. I think that's that one. I think I probably, I get them all mixed up. A Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. I don't remember that one. Man in the Mirror. Is that a slow one? I think so. Green, blue, and purple. Green. Oh, that must be this one. Anyway, Ellie, I have no idea if I've done justice to this, but those are the colors and I think they are beautiful and I cannot wait to do mitered squares and triangulums with this. Thank you. She also sends you, um, and again, Ellie, hon, could you please on your little thank you card, because she sends you a handwritten thank you card, could you please put what your little extra is 
because I have no idea what colour this is. And it would be lovely if you could tell me what that was. That actually looks more than... Or maybe it's a, it looks bigger than one of these minis, so I'll have to weigh it. Maybe it's a different type of yarn. Anyway, Ellie, please tell me what this is. And please label your little things, please, because I can't figure that out. So anyway, that's all I have today. And I need to get ready to go watch my game. So... The footy game, I've been trying to tri teach Tristan it's football, not soccer. <clears throat> and he does watch with me when it's on. I actually make him. He has no choice. <laughs> it's on. We don't do Coco Melon when football's on. No, we, we do uh, we do football. And he's getting the clap down. Liverpool. <coughs> Liverpool. <coughs> I, I, I'm getting that with him. And uh, I'm yay when they score. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> He's not here today, so it's just me and Tobe. Me and Tobe watching the game. Hubby's at work, so it'll be nice and peace and quiet. I have this thing that I do when I watch when I watch football and when I watch Formula One, because they're usually during the early mornings here because of the time differences and stuff. So I cl I tell all my neighbors if the curtains are closed, it's not that I'm still sleeping. I just don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> Because I'm watching the football or I'm watching the Formula One. And I will not take any calls or nothing. Don't even text me if the curtains are closed. I'm busy. <laughs> so, bit of a sports fiend here. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so I will see you next Monday for some more. Um, Toby Knits fun, knitting fun. And I'll see you Wednesday uh, for some floss tube. Okay, bye.